So today, what I want to bring to you is a smart charger. Now, this one allows you to charge a battery. So we can charge. We can charge here a double A. We can charge triple A batteries. We can charge like this kind of batteries, lithium batteries. This one is the famous 18. This one was 18 650. This is 3.7 volts. Now you can imagine in a show like this, we use a lot of batteries all the time. Like my PA systems, my microphones, they all use batteries. So the best way is to use rechargeable batteries. But I want to make sure the batteries are always charged full and be ready for me when I need it. I want to make sure the batteries are not overcharged either. That's very important. We don't want to overcharge batteries. We want to make sure the battery is full and that. So this will do that for me. I went through many, uh, many of these type of devices and I really enjoyed this one because Allow me to charge my double A, triple A, my the regular standard batteries. But we build a lot of robotics here. So we build a lot of robots. They, they use the 1850 type of batteries, right? All right. So now let me show you the charger. So we have the total eight banks. And I can, if I press here, slot, I can move on to any LC3, C4. So if I go C2, I see 90% at 1.45 volts. All right, you see the internal resistance 1.17 1 mega ohms and the amperage here it uses 0 0.60 amps. You can change it and you can change the mode here and, and I can I can actually push that and, and, and change the amp as well too. But I'm going to leave it automatic. So if I hold it there for a few seconds, I can go and change and I believe uh, 1 amp. This one you can do 1 amp only. Yeah, I think it too is this one. Okay. Well, let's leave it at 60. No automatic will do that. It depends on, depends on what it requires. So we can leave that automatic. And then I can change here. That's a 90%, uh, 97%, 84. And automatic when it reach 100, it still says full. This light automatic turns off. We can see here the type of battery I'm using right now. And right on the side will tell you. Now, let me put a, a lithium battery here. And we can say automatic detected. Lithium battery, 4.0. 20 volts we can see i am 80 percent and the voltage is 4.03 eventually it's going to show me the mega ohm and the amps are required so that's going to change as i guess when this gets full the amperage will start going down right now if you need to repair a battery you repair it in the number day now sure you can put here a battery to charge but number day is the one also that will allow you to repair the battery so that's 81 and, re and it finds in it detect the name okay now if i put this battery by reading it, this one i think i get an error so error ca so this one no good if you follow the instruction will tell you you had to chuck them out it, it's not safe to charge the battery that gives an error so this automatically knows this battery some some to rumble this it will not charge it and that's very important because maybe other charger will try to do that and naturally can burn uh, actually the battery can uh, get on fire right so that's why this protected so that way it's an error and says you know what choke the battery out no good anymore but that's nice so that's what i have that's the way i charge it on my batteries for the show and and then for all my robotics uh and system that's that's what i use my lithium batteries i'm using something there's when you know the type of battery yeah follow the instruction is pretty clear and explain how to use it all right that's what that will be it. And by the way, the transformer is three amps, huh? So that's nice. And I have a lot of power here. All right. So I see you. Yeah. Next time. All right. Bye.